we recently have found out um, with these millisecond pulsars, they're very copious producers of gamma rays. So one of the exciting things th that's happened just this year, uh, well, I should say before that, in the last two years, a very exciting development in astronomy in general has been the launch of uh, the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope uh, by NASA. And this uh, telescope is actually currently mapping the whole sky in gamma rays. And gamma rays are a much more energetic form of light than even X-rays. Uh, and so by mapping the whole sky in gamma rays, it's seeing a whole bunch of different um, point sources of light uh, that are giving off these gamma rays. And most of these objects are very distant galaxies uh, across the universe, universe that are, have active galactic nuclei. So there's a massive black hole in the center, and they're spewing out material towards us in a relativistic manner. And we call these blazars. But the other primary source of gamma ray objects that we know about have, have been pulsars in the past. And people have known that at least young pulsars have been gamma ray emitters um, for dozens of years now. But what's happened in the last year is that Fermi has shown that the very nearby um, millisecond pulsars basically all emit gamma rays. And this has been something that was a surprise to a lot of people, although some theorists had predicted that we should see gamma rays from these objects. And it turns out that because we're seeing gamma rays from even the most nearby millisecond pulsars, it means that almost all of them do emit gamma rays. So what happened in the, in, the, in the past year, once we started seeing that there were all these point sources in the gamma ray sky, many of which were unidentified, there were no known blazars or, or no known pulsars, uh, there was a collaboration, an international collaboration, of which I'm a part. We took and observed several of these gamma ray point sources with the largest radio telescopes in the world, and we found very bright radio millisecond pulsars in them, um, which is a a very new way of finding these objects. Usually we have to search the whole sky with the radio telescopes in a very, very time and computer consuming process.